Welcome to this week's edition of Mainly Motorsports as we bring the opening to you right here from Four Seasons Synthetic Headquarters. Have you ever been called that, Lee? No, no this is just where we take care of customer service. Customer service. And uh, everybody knows Lee the Amzo guy. He's one of the biggest supporters that, uh, uh, and I don't mean that in a reference of the size of you, but one of the biggest supporters of Mainly Motorsports and anything we have done over the last 10 years. And uh, once again, the big guy has stepped up for the racer and uh, taken over title sponsorship of the Strictly Shootout up there at Wiscasset, which everybody knew that was happening. You promoted it during the off-season shows. But, man, it's getting bigger, and it's getting better, and it's getting close. Well, it is. It's less than a month away, Steve. But I just want to back up a little bit. Uh, I just came on board last year in 2017. But Dan Brennan, who started it four, four years ago, yep. and the Kegs did one heck of a job. Oh, yeah. Ken came to me last year and said, do you want to, you know, participate in this race? Do you want to sponsor it? And I said, gee, Ken, I'm going to be away. You know, I can't do it. And you know me, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to be in 100%. You want to do it 100%. And he said, all right, well, thank you. You know, maybe next year. I said, yeah, maybe next year. Well, we got down to the 11th hour, and Ken said, you know, you don't even have to pay us, but if you sign on for five years, would you do it? And I said, well, Ken, that's not me. I'll pay you. Yes, I'll do it. I'll sign on for five years. But I can't be there. So you just take the show and run with it with what you had planned. Well, then after the race got over, I got a chance to sit down with Richard and Vanessa and Ken and Dave. And I'd kept me. Then you, yes, I'm sorry, yes, you were there too. <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings, yeah. we, we did eat yeah. as well, you can tell. And um, we hashed over some ideas, some, some of the grumblings. And you're always going to have grumblings, but I really didn't like the inversion they had last year, and a lot of people didn't. And they even admitted that perhaps it wasn't the right decision. You know, sometimes you try new ideas, they work. Sometimes you try yeah, new no, ideas, they no, don't. Right. And this one didn't work. And so I wanted to do away with that and said, well, what's the... Why not just a random draw of your top 18 people or whatever number you yep. think is right? They said, well, yes, but then they have no reason to race during the heats. I said, well, then why don't we pay some decent prizes in the heats? So, I mean, first first place in a, in a heat wins 100 bucks. Yeah. You know, first place in the feature wins 500 bucks. But anyway, all this information is available on the Scassus website under the Strictly Shootout. Uh, and it's also on, a, we have a Facebook page, the Dominator shoot out check it out well what i want to talk to you tonight about was we have an anonymous contingency sponsor that stepped up and it can't go back to all the way when the race started but it's going back to last year when i came on board and we're going to call it the back in the saddle award keeping in line with the shootout concept oh, of cowboy concept. Yep. yeah and the back in the saddle award any top five finisher in 2017 that finishes in the top five in 2018, whatever the purse is for that feature, it's doubled. So if Kyle Hewins yep. wins this year's race, yep. which is paying $500 for, win, for first place, yep. he's going to double that. To he's going to have $1,000. Plus somebody whatever, else he got, whatever he got in the heat. third, whoever, I don't know who that would be. Mm -hmm. So if they finish second again, if they finish second this year because they were in the top five last year. It's doubled. That's unheard of. Well, it's even one step further. Next year, there will be 10 individuals that are finished in the top five. That are eligible. It, that are eligible. So by the time my fifth year comes around, there will be four years under our belt, there will actually be 20 people, in theory, that will be eligible in that race of, what, 28 racers, maybe yeah. 30, that are eligible for doubling the purse. So let me get this right. And mm. viewers, listen. So, anybody that finished in the top five last year, and now moving forward, finishes in the top five this year, and then in 2019 and 2020, they come back the following year, and they're racing to double their winnings as long as they finish it back in the top five. You know, I want to do this to help build a race, to give people a reason to come back, to try a little harder, and we're hoping this is a way to do it. Wow. So but not only that, with everything else that's going on, usually they have lap money and then racing in the heats, and there's always some added contingencies. So. Yep, there's already some in place. Uh, they are available on the Wiscasa's website. Not to mention the buckle. Oh, yeah, the hat. The hat. Yeah, yeah. See, hey, it's one step further. You know, they have the cowboy hat. Well, in the rodeo era, with the cowboy hat, they usually have crowns that go with the cowboy hat. There's going to be a special dominator racing crown. 
The belt buckle is a customized Dominator Racing belt buckle, and it has a year, each year engraved in it. I don't have them in my possession yet to show for this yeah. interview, but I will have them for the race. So, And we also have, as you know, the Bond Arms hand cannon. So that goes to in, the winner. That goes to the winner at your show, because it is a firearm. It has to legally be transferred from me to them, but they will get it at your show in Augusta. And it's engraved Dominator Racing. So one thing I will say, Lee, and, and you've done this and anything you've ever done and anybody you've ever been involved with is you do it right. You don't just do it. You want to think outside the box, and you guys have obviously done that with, with – um, you know, signing on with the event, the random draw, bringing the fans involved, and then, you know, all the stuff that goes along with winning the race. It's 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 almost you've given it that pre prestigious tag. Well, give some excitement. Give people a reason to come. You know, this isn't a Wiscasset race. This is a Strictly. It's a Wildcat. It's an Outlaw. Whatever they call them in all the different tracks. Yeah. Give you a re give you a reason to modify your car a little bit so you can fit into the general rules that we've tried to form to cover all the bases. You're not going to be able to keep everybody happy, but we're doing our damnedest to make it that. No, and that's coming up September 29th. September 29th. Wiscasset Speedway. It's... I believe it's the fifth year or sixth year of it. This is the sixth year. Sixth year. The first or the second underneath the Dominator, the Dominator shootout. shootout. And, uh, man, top five with the opportunity to double your purse. So, so, you know, those top five are racing for double the purse. So yeah. you you could. How many how many Strictly's get it, you know, if they win? Have the the to make, yeah. Not many. Yeah. And think about this. Well, I mean, I mean and, and look at it, too. It's not just the top five. I mean, we spread the funds down through the ranks. I mean... Uh, $100 to take the green. Yeah, yeah. $100 if you win your feature. I mean, you win your heat. heat. You win your heat. You know, uh, heck. I can't even read my own writing. A uh, tournament 25 for, for fifth place. Yeah. You win the feature. You win the heat. But... That 225 could be 450 if you finish top five last no, year. No, two, yeah, yeah, 225 could be, yeah, absolutely right. So that's an amazing, I don't know who came up with that idea. It's <laughs> Think out of the box, dude. Think out of the box. But, uh, go bigger, go ahead. No, but that's a, that's a great time. September 29th, up at Wiscasset. Thank you for. Be there. Be there. That's what Doug White used to say. That was the old owner. But uh, you got to get in to win. You gotta, okay. Yeah, that's your old slogan. <laughs> but Lee, you know. I, from a, from, a, from a fan's perspective, mm -hmm. can't thank you enough for all you do for motorsports. I know you're involved with the tracks for the drag side of things. Obviously, Bartlett Bridge, up to Wiscasset, you know, the off-season shows. You know, you're a guy, you're out there. You're, you know. It, it, it's, it's a way to give back. Amzol's been good to me. The Amzol customers have been good to me. Racing is, is part of it. In, in, in addition to in industry and fleet owners and everything else, it's just a way to give back. How's the Easy Pack sales going? <laughs> that thing's crazy. Is it? We'll squeeze a bag. But you got the ad. Yeah, we got the ad on the top. So that's another thing. So thank you for everything. Thank you, Steve. Snow's coming. That means Augusta. But before we'll be that, there. the Strictly Shootout, the Dominator Shootout. The Amazon Dominator Shootout. Going to be at Strictly Wisconsin. Shootout, yes. So Dominator Racing. No, Dominator Shootout on Facebook and uh, the Strictly Shootout on Wisconsin's website. All right, we're going to take a break and we'll be back here on Mainly Motorsports. Welcome to LST Landscaping, where we've been providing complete landscape solutions to all of Southern Maine since 1969. We specialize in year-round landscape maintenance and snow services, including weekly lawn mowing, seasonal cleanups, sweeping, mulching, and so much more. Many more customizable services are available upon request. Please call our office today at 207-878-1578 or visit our website, lstlandscapinginc.com. Hi, I'm Scott from Scotch Recreation. We just had the biggest month in our history. Why? We're selling campers at wholesale to the public, even the 2019s. So what did we do? We went out and bought a bunch more, up to 40% off travel trailers and fifth wheels, up to 35% off toy haulers, up to 30% off motorhomes. you never see these prices again. Over 400 campers to choose from, all at wholesale prices. Scott's Recreation, Route 4 Turner and Route 202 Manchester, Maine. 
Wiscasset Speedway is back, and we have the cure for your need for speed. Maine's biggest and fastest proudly presents eight featured divisions, including pro stocks, late models, four-cylinder pro stocks, modifieds, and more. Plus, special features throughout the season, including the Nell Car Legends, the Wicked Good Vintage Racers, the NEMA Midgets, Enduros, and more. All this fun, all this excitement, all for just five bucks. Wiscasset Speedway, West on the Road, Wiscasset, online at Facebook and WiscassetSpeedway.com. Ignition won't turn? Wait, don't tow it. It may just be a one key. Hi, I'm Jim Broadhurst, owner of E-Keys for Cars of Saco. At E-Keys for Cars, we'll diagnose your problem over the phone and give you a firm quote. No bait and switch here. Whenever or wherever you're stuck, E-Keys for Cars will come to you. Call E-Keys for Cars and Saco, the fast, affordable fix for your car key and lock needs. Mainly Motorsports, brought to you by LKQ Core. Any part, any repair, anywhere. Located on Route 202 in Gorham. Wiscasset Speedway, Maine's biggest and fastest, with $5 admission every weekend and loads of family fun. Check us out at wiscassetspeedway.com. Bentley Saloon, Route 1 in Arundel. Stop by and see why me and my friends say, who has more fun than us? We do. Well, welcome back to Mainly Motorsports, and I found Amy. <laughs> there used to be a segment, Where's Amy? Uh, years ago, um, Channel 13 to it, she would go off places. Matter of fact, we did a piece with her at Beechridge where it was Where's Amy? Her and Dave Ede actually came out and drove uh, my race car and another car. They did a little segment out there and practice. They'd never driven, and they were super late models. So, um, yeah, the new Where's Amy? Where's Amy been? <laughs> I've kind of been all over the place. Um... I, Oxford 250 week, I decided to take a little vacation to Florida with my sister, and I've just, it's just been weird, because the past couple of Sundays, like, I've been at one racetrack, and you've been at the yep. other, like, a few weeks ago, I was at Wiscasset, and then you were at, where were you that time? Claremont. Claremont, yeah, so we were at two different places, we and just... It's, it's coming to a close, racing is. is coming to a close, as much as people don't want to hear that, it is, it's coming to a close, so, uh, but, still a lot of great racing that has happened. Uh, champions were crowned this past weekend. Um, you were at Beach Ridge mm -hmm. for championship night, and uh, the one thing they do, you, you know, it's a, I don't want to call it a festival, but it, it's quite a thing, you know, as they pass the torch, so to speak, from one year to another, and, uh, you know, uh, three champions, two first-time champions, um, Curtis Gary and the, and the Pro Series division, which, you know, everybody knows them as super late models, um, was the odds-on favorite, and backed it up absolutely backed it up and uh wasn't easy you know they had a couple of mechanical failures through the year and but uh you know two-time champion now yeah um like you said this season hasn't been like his greatest statistically um even had his first dnf in years this season at the racetrack but they pulled it together at the end and i feel like winning every race isn't what wins you a championship it's just trying to be consistent being in the top five every week and just like being there and you know, um, he stuck close to Mike Rowe, who was in second in points, um, championship night, and just made sure he was always within a few positions within him on track, didn't push it too much, wasn't wasn't going out there to, you know, win no, the, it was big win the whole racing. thing. You know, big picture racing. And, uh, you know, so congratulations to him and his whole team. The sports series, it was a foregone conclusion many moons ago. I don't know, it might have been 20 years ago. Southern Maine Cotting was going on. The kids coming up through. One of the top young talents in that was a kid by the name of Joey Pastore. So I think everybody figured he would continue that career, go to Beechridge, and just start racking up championships. Well, they raced a couple of years in the sports series, and then they had the aspirations of moving up into the pro series, and just never were able to. And then uh, he went and raced the, the past sportsman series. They had a like a limited sportsman uh, sports series tour and he raced that and won a couple championships there but this was his really first year back to Beechridge to, to set his mindset and set his goal and uh, and he did it and and like I said it, it's been a long time coming but it's something I think everybody expected to happen there at, at some point or another. And yeah Joey's a really good racer um, he's a really good guy he's really smart on the racetrack he's a he's a hard racer no matter where he races um, a few weeks ago he was up at Wiscasset and put on a show there so um 
he's a wheel man in anything he drives and it's really cool seeing him race because he's just he's just tough on a track and it was just really cool seeing him get that championship i know that this past year hasn't been the easiest for his family so it was really cool and kind of like a bittersweet moment for him and that number 20 team and they pulled it off and the points wasn't even really weren't even really super close coming into the night so you know what all he had to do was race smart too and he pulled it off no absolutely and then the wildcat division you know a, a name that's synonymous with oxford plain series uh oxford plain speedway and that's the childs um one of their own josh made the trek hooked up with no such chassis and made the trek south to beach ridge motor speedway and, and right from the get-go they were fast you know they were you know won some races raced up front had some controversy surrounding them uh you know the team the driver other teams but they never wavered he went out and raced his race never changed his style when others thought that he was too rough he said i'm just aggressive and he did his thing and and lo and behold you know they're going to go to the you know 70th annual uh awards of champions at features and be crowned the wildcat champion add his name to the history book just like joey pastori you know um big deal for that team and, and that's a tough class it is definitely a tough class and like you said that was probably some of the most controversy that i've seen since it started going back to beach ridge but you know what like they had great equipment all season um every race like he would start in the back every race and all of a sudden you know 10 laps and all of a sudden josh childs is there in the top five and you know he raced his way through and you know he is a tough driver and you know, kind of no mercy when he gets the victory lane and does his speeches sometimes. But, you hey. know, it's it's his style and there's nothing to knock he him about. It. That's right. And and we need a little more bit yeah. more flamboyancy in this sport. Yeah. You know, the cookie cutter, you know, well, I want to thank mom and dad and, uh, you know, my sponsors and my Uncle Joe. and all. We need a little more flamboyancy. And uh, a guy like Josh Charles brings that. So congratulations to, you know, Curtis. Joey and Josh, their entire teams, all their sponsors, um, really pretty lucky. The uh, One of the major sponsors on Curtis's car, also a supporter of Mainly Motorsports, Saco House of Pizza. One of the sponsors Can't on Joey. Can't chase Joe's, <laughs> You don't write me a check. No, you do support us. But how much, just because you put a sticker on it, don't mean you're a sponsor, okay? Um, Iron Craft, Bob Craft, been a supporter of us for, for years, major sponsor on Joey's car, and Randy Harmon, no such chassis, you know, so really, uh, not that we're playing a part in those champions, but congratulations to the people that support us or are involved in us that are now a part of championship teams. So uh, we're going to take a break. We come back. I want to talk about where I was uh, this past weekend and one of the best race events I've seen all season from start to finish, and that was at Star Speedway. For a trusted name in residential and commercial site work in the southern main area, call Peter Pettit Excavating. We can handle everything from the complete house lot to those nasty water and sewer line repairs. Septic systems are another area that we specialize in. During the snow season, Pettit Excavating has the equipment to handle any size job. And when the race season arrives, be sure to follow the number 7 Ewitt's Family Restaurant Chevrolet on the past Super Late Model Tour. Call 207-282-9305 to get the job done right. That's Peter Pettit Excavating. Don't deal with just anybody to seal coat your driveway or business this season. Call Black Magic. They bring over 20 years of experience in seal coating and crack filling. Black Magic's skilled team makes sure the job is always done right. On schedule with quality workmanship at a fair price. Protect your investment in your driveway by getting it sealed with Black Magic. Ooh, Black Magic. My name is Scott. This is Devin. We're the owners of Black Magic Seal Coating. Let us earn your business today. You'll be glad you did. Legendary race car driver Bentley Warren is putting a rental on the map. When Bentley's saloon opened in 2004, it was just a little bar room on the side of the road. Today we have a giant saloon with live music, dancing, and great food and drink indoors and out. We're always looking to meet new friends and have a good old time. There's always something exciting going on at Bentley's. That's why we like to say, who has more fun than us? We do! Hi. I'm Johnny Wolf. Here at 21st Century Motors, we've been in business since 1972 and we take pride in our work. We have a large selection of pre-owned vehicles that are clean and ready. I personally drive and state inspect every vehicle we sell. We're experts at getting your car financed whether you have good, bad or no credit. 
We purchase vehicles several times a week, so there's always plenty to choose from. Come on in and make a deal today at 21st Century Motors in Gorham or online at 21stCenturyMaine.com. Well, welcome back to Mainland Motorsports, and you heard me say before you went to break, Star Speedway is where I was at, and I gotta commend the entire Weber family, starting with Bob Jr., who had a tough first year, taking over, filling a big void as his dad passed away, and now he was the guy making all the calls. Um, you know, his mom, Jean, you know, the family, Jen, Timmy, Jamie, you know, it's a big undertaking to run a racetrack, as we can imagine. We've never done it, but we can imagine. And we have a lot of friends that have positions that are involved in these racetracks. And um, they did a great job in year one. And the Star Classic, 53rd annual, big deal. A big deal for that track. And uh, they pulled off one of the best events, if not the best event I've been to all year, start to finish. From the parking, the facility, the people, the staff, the racers, the pits, the fans, it was just all. And then the, the, there's two things we always say you can't control. You can't control the weather and you can't control the people that are holding the steering wheels and pressing the gas. Well, last night, for the most part, those people did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. You know, the street stocks, the, I mean, all of it, a phenomenal job. And probably the best race that I've seen all year long was the 350 race at Star Speedway. 24 cars took the green. They went 20 laps before they had a caution. It was a minor spin. I think they had two more cautions. It was a 50 lap event, paid huge money. And in the end, the kid they're calling the next one, I mean, picked up the win. And he was having a great battle with Hollywood Dave, uh, Dave Halliwell. And Dave Halliwell, when we talk about smart moves, you gotta see it. Enjoy this piece from Star Speedway.
home to mainly motorsports. To order a copy of this show, send a check or money order for $15, including shipping and handling to Mainly Motorsports, 2 Main Street, Suite 17-103, Biddeford, Maine, 04005. And please add the show number in the description of the show. Football fans, have we got a deal for you. VIP Tour and Charter Bus Company is offering round-trip transportation to Gillette Stadium to watch the New England Patriots make another run for the Super Bowl. Ride in style knowing we're doing the driving. So if you've got a ticket, we've got your ride. It doesn't get any better than that. Just log on to VIPChartercoaches.com, click on the Browse Book Tour button, and book your trip today. It's that simple. Relax and leave the driving to us, and we'll leave the tailgating to you. Hatman's Redemption and Agency Liquor Store is located at 95 Tanberg Trail in Wyndham, Maine. With over 400 feet of hard liquor and 15 doors of ice cold beer and soda, Patman's can handle all of your beverage needs. And if it's wine on your agenda, we have over 300 varieties in stock. Then when the party's over, Patman's can handle all of your main returnables and we welcome all bottle drives. And if you're late for the race, drop off the bottles and pick up the cash at your convenience. Hey, this is Patman himself. Just letting you know that Patman's is your one-stop shop for all your thirsty needs. Wiscasset Speedway is back, and we have the cure for your need for speed. Maine's biggest and fastest proudly presents eight feature divisions, including pro stocks, late models, four-cylinder pro stocks, modifieds, and more. Plus, special features throughout the season, including the Nell Car Legends, the Wicked Good Vintage Racers, the NEMA Midgets, and Duros, and more. All this fun, all this excitement, all for just five bucks. Wiscasset Speedway, West on the Road, Wiscasset, online at Facebook and WiscassetSpeedway.com. Mainly Motorsports, brought to you by Scotch Recreation. Whether you're thinking about your first camper or looking to upgrade your current one, Scotch Recreation can help you. Get both our Route 202 Manchester and our Route 4 Turner locations and online at ScotchRecreation.com. Well, welcome back to Mainly Motorsports. And earlier in the show, we talked about Beechridge and wrapping up their championship night. And that's where you were. You were at Lee Friday night. Um, didn't have the car count they hoped to have, but uh, finished off what I consider a very successful first year of, and they didn't finish the year because they still have Oktoberfest, so that's a big deal, but really their regular season they finished off. They had some weather, just like all tracks, but uh, some great point battles, some great racing, and some domination, you know. Oh, yeah, absolute domination um, all season by Albiovit in the um, street stocks there, just I think he won almost every race. I'm oh not sure God. that he even lost one. Um, like you said, it was kind of hard for a speedway to go up against every, all the events happening at Star this weekend. Um, so, as a race fan, it kind of made you sad looking out into the pits and seeing, you know, lack of lack of cars and then lack of people in the stands. But you know, Lee, the speedway made the best out of it. Yeah, no, and do we do ran a timely matter. It's one thing to you know be down on cars, down on fans, and keep you there till midnight. So yeah. they ran a timely show. And uh, yeah, congratulations, Frankie Eldridge. I yeah, mean, when Frankie. it came time to go, I mean, he turned the wick up at the end of the year and, and won like the last four races in a row. And, and you know, and uh, yeah, so, you know, him, you know, all the champions, you know, Hallowell in, this, in the 350 mm -hmm. Supers. So um, White Mountain crowned their championships. Quinny Welch, now the, you know, now the championship in the, in the late models. And um, speaking of White Mountain, this weekend, huge, huge deal. Pro All-Star Series in action Saturday night. It's the Napa Blue and Gold 25th anniversary weekend at White Mountain Motorsports Park. And, uh, you know, they got a Tiger special where they have a two-segment race uh, Saturday. And then Sunday they finish up. The Strictly Minis are in action. The Dwarf Cars are in action. The, the um, uh, Legends are in action. They got a Monster Truck Show on Sunday. The Pro All-Star Series. But it all cultivates with a big 250-lap late model race paying ten grand to win. 5000 per second and $1,000 to take the green. So I'm hoping we see some uh, some people from the great state of Maine down there challenging uh, the, the, the quarter mile, uh, one of my favorite tracks in all of New England, uh, White Mountain Motorsports Park. And But, you know, that'll be it for their year, you know. Yeah, I've never, I was thinking about maybe going down there. I've never been to White Mountain before. Um, so a lot of people are telling me, Amy, you really got to go to this event. Um, like you said, a lot of great stuff coming up. Um, there's still some, you know, fun October stuff in Duros at yep. Star as well. And I've never been to Oktoberfest at Lee, surprisingly. Yeah. Um, 
So I'm they just got the looking. World Series at Thompson. You know what I mean? Yeah. Past 400. Well, it's not past 400 weekend, but still got a weekend coming there. Fall Fury at Wiscasset. You know the Ike Door. Uh, you know big weekend up at Speedway 95. So there's still plenty of opportunities, and uh, you know there's still some championship point battles to be settled. And uh, a lot of these tracks, they're marquee events coming up. So we're going to be here, there, and everywhere. And we'll be at White Mountain this weekend. And uh, should be fun. The Pro All-Star Series, like I said, Saturday night. Wouldn't be surprised to see the kid, Gay Brown, that just at 15 years old. These kids, unbelievable talented behind the wheel. 15 years old, just wrapped up his first of many championships to come at Oxford Plains Speedway. And in, in a division where the likes of Mike Rowe, Jeff Taylor, you know, Leland Kangas, Tracy Gordon, these guys have won championships there. And now 15-year-old Gabe Brown adds his name to it. And that's, that's incredible. Like, I feel like this season has been a season where we've seen so many youngsters, like, coming up and proving themselves. Like, Gabe Brown won a championship, which is incredible. Um, Austin Terrace won a Legends championship at Beach Ridge. Um, Ga um, Garrett, or um, what's his name? <laughs> When the championship of Beach Ridge. Oh, Garrett Lamb. Garrett yeah, Lamb. Crazy That's you know it. What I mean, this, these kids and uh, you know, I've seen them all race their go karts. Yeah. I was there when they their first go kart races. You know, and uh, congratulations to all of them. Big feather in the cap for you know Dale Shaw Race Cars taking yeah. down Gabe Brown. So uh, I expect to see him over at uh, White Mountain this weekend. So we'll take a break. We'll come back. Show you some more race action from Star Speedway. Hi, I'm Scott from Scotch Recreation. We just had the biggest month in our history. Why? We're selling campers at wholesale to the public, even the 2019s. So what did we do? We went out and bought a bunch more, up to 40% off travel trailers and fifth wheels, up to 35% off toy haulers, up to 30% off motorhomes. You'll never see these prices again. Over 400 campers to choose from, all at wholesale prices. Scott's Recreation, Route 4 Turner and Route 202 Manchester, Maine. Hi, I'm Andy Austin with exciting news about a new division of Beach Ridge Motor Speedway designed to bring new people to weekly racing. Here's series founder Dan Wolf. Thanks, Andy. Our goal was to create cheap, easy to build race cars, bone stock production cars with a simple four point roll cage and proper safety equipment. We've named them the 21st Century Motor Street Devils. Our 2017 rule book and schedule are available at BeachRidge.com and at Street Devils Racing on Facebook. The future of auto racing has always been streetcar divisions because of the low cost. Some folks are building cars and sharing the driving duties. There's even an all-star car to allow celebrities to try out the Street Devil and a two-seat driver's ed car so you can take a few laps. Get information about our mentor program, low-cost safety equipment, roll cage kits, and videos on how to build one at Street Devils Racing on Facebook. So, form a team, build a car, and come join us this summer as we kick off the 21st Century Motors Street Devil Division at Beach Ridge Motor Speedway. Wiscasset Speedway is back, and we have the cure for your need for speed. Maine's biggest and fastest proudly presents eight featured divisions, including pro stocks, late models, four-cylinder pro stocks, modifieds, and more. Plus, special features throughout the season, including the Nell Car Legends, the Wicked Good Vintage Racers, the NEMA Midgets, Enduros, and more. All this fun, all this excitement, all for just five bucks. Wiscasset Speedway, west on the road, Wiscasset, online at Facebook and WiscassetSpeedway.com. Like I said, I mentioned Star Speedway, and they had some great racing. They had 20 plus street stocks or Strictly's, you know, and uh, that's a lot on that little tight track. And wow, they they give and take. They beat and bang, but they give and take, and put on a great race. And uh, guy started 19th, and wins the race. So you gotta have a good car. A good program, and it's a guy you mentioned earlier in the show, so enjoy the highlights. And it was just the beginning for Renfro Motorsports down there at Star Speedway.
Welcome to LST Landscaping, where we've been providing complete landscape solutions to all of Southern Maine since 1969. We specialize in year-round landscape maintenance and snow services, including weekly lawn mowing, seasonal cleanups, sweeping, mulching, and so much more. Many more customizable services are available upon request. Please call our office today at 207-878-1578 or visit our website, lstlandscapinginc.com. Ignition won't turn? Wait, don't tow it. It may just be a one key. Hi, I'm Jim Broadhurst, owner of E-Keys for Cars of Saco. At E-Keys for Cars, we'll diagnose your problem over the phone and give you a firm quote. No bait and switch here. Whenever or wherever you're stuck, E-Keys for Cars will come to you. Call E-Keys for Cars and Saco, the fast, affordable fix for your car key and lock needs. Hi, I'm Johnny Wolf. Here at 21st Century Motors, we've been in business since 1972 and we take pride in our work. We have a large selection of pre-owned vehicles that are clean and ready. I personally drive and state inspect every vehicle we sell. We're experts at getting your car financed whether you have good, bad, or no credit. We purchase vehicles several times a week so there's always plenty to choose from. Come on in and make a deal today at 21st Century Motors in Gorham or online at 21stCenturyMaine.com. Mainly Motorsports, brought to you by Four Seasons Synthetic. See them for all your AMSOIL product needs. Well, this should be the time of year that we're talking about the chase, the second race of the chase at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. But we ain't. We're talking full throttle weekend and a uh, big deal. 250 lap modified race, paying 25 grand to win, $100 a lap, so a lot of money on the line. The k and I don't want to call it invitational, but it's like an all-star race or, you know, final points race, or, uh, bringing both the West and the East series together. And then the Pinty series from Canada, you know, which is, you know, along the lines of that K&N type of thing, but it's its own series. So it should be an exciting, fun weekend down there at Loudoun, you know, September 21st and 22nd, so it's Friday practice and everything, and some qualifying and Saturday, the, the, the racing. So, you know, good opportunity to go down there, support that track that supports really now short track racing you know not that they always haven't but now they're really becoming more involved in the short track racing and should be a fun time and somebody's going to win a boatload of money on that modified side of things yeah i remember when you know they had announced that there was no no nascar day for the following year and i was in the media center when they announced that this big event was going to happen um last season and it was you know, the excitement among the modified drivers, they brought a few modified drivers in to talk about it, and they were like, it's a really long race, so we don't know how it's going to play out, but they were definitely excited about, you know, big paid outs and something new and something fresh for the track that, like, we've talked about so many times that just because NASCAR loses the date, like, obviously NASCAR is, like, a huge, huge all, all around the country, doesn't mean that they can't do anything that race weekend, and they're really trying to, like you said, incorporate short track racing because I know that people in New England love their modifieds. People from Canada will come down to see stuff like the modifieds. And, you know, New Hampshire is a great place where we can grab people from so many different states, even Canada, to just come and, you know, celebrate racing and be there. And it's going to be a really, really cool event. And I know when talking with the management over there, they, they want this to be a successful event. They want it to be something they can grow from, you know. And, uh, um, you know, the modifieds, and you hear it every time that cars are on that track. They put on the best race. They put on the best race. Now, I don't know what 200, I can't imagine them racing 250 laps the way they race 100 laps in July, but it'll still be a great race. And, you know, some of the top names in the sport will be there and um, racing for a big, big payday and the prestigiousness of winning the inaugural Fall Throttle Weekend. Yeah, and I'm really hoping that it'll be a success, like a success because, like you said, it's the inaugural race. We really want, you know, something like that to be really successful so they can thrive off of, you know, it was unfortunate losing a date, but we can thrive off of something else and, you know, bring so many more fans in. And it's, it's just going to be fun. It's going to be fun to see the Pinty series. Never seen that. And um, they said it's their first trip down here, so it'll be really cool, you know, seeing drivers and names that we aren't familiar with and like seeing how they race yeah no exactly so that's september 21st 22nd we're going to catch up with uh, bill quigley and track gm dave mcgrath and you know hear what they have to say about it and hear what they say uh about the show and the excitement and, and some of the ideas they have for the track so that'll be on an upcoming episode 
But uh, really, it's a chance. Call up, support them, get down there on Saturday, see some great racing, and then uh, find another racetrack to support on Friday or Sunday. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just so much. This is the time of year that, you know, your track's finished. Go to the schedules. Go to their Facebook pages. Go to their websites and say, you know what? I'm gonna, I've never been to Speedway 95. I'm going to hit that Ike door race. Or I've never been to Oktoberfest. you got to check it out, you know? Um, so many opportunities to check out different tracks, and I encourage everybody that is a short track race fan to get out and check out an event that you've never been to um, and, and take it in. And, and it might be something that you say, you know what, we're coming back next year and we're bringing friends, you know. And, uh, you know, I hit new ones every single year, um, and I look forward to this year. And I'm sitting down, we were talking before we started taping today, which, by the way, is Amy's birthday as we're taping, right? I <laughs> yeah. mean, we're seven eighths of the way through a show and i haven't wished you a happy birthday i'm not into that so i forget about it all the time but today's amy's birthday she turned 32 so congratulations to amy 32 and still single but we're working on it. that's one of my winter goals to, to kind of move this relationship thing along with somebody and uh 25 find... oh really well now that opens up the uh, we got more yeah we're more ground now so uh but no happy birthday and uh, we're all going to go celebrate later on today over to one of our supporters, Bentley's, and a uh, great place to hang out. So, um, yeah. So, happy birthday. Thank you, Steve. So, now back on racing. And, uh, <laughs> but, no, get out and support these tracks. And I'm excited to sit down. And as I'm, we were talking earlier, I'm piecing my schedule together. Where am I going to be? I know I'm going to be at White Mountain next weekend. The weekend after that, I'll be at the Full Throttle weekend and pass on Sunday. The week after that, we'll be up at Wiscasset. We heard it for the first, you know, part of the show. Lee's, you know, the, the Strictly Shootout, the Dominator Amsoil Strictly Shootout, and uh, up there. So we'll be there. And then, you know, Oktoberfest and Thompson and boom, and, you know, <laughs> flipping a coin, Waterford or Richmond, thinking about going to Richmond, you know, and the Snowball Derby. You know we'll be there. Flights are booked, rooms booked, tickets are gone. We're going to the Snowball Derby, one of the those marquee events that, you know, everybody that's a huge short track race fans should try to fit it in their schedule just like the people down there should fit the Oxford 250s, the Thompson World Series, those type of things in their schedule. So we take a break. We got some more race action that took place over there at Star Speedway. Servicing differentials is virtually impossible. The confined space makes fill holes difficult to reach and industry standard conical bottles are rigid and hard to squeeze. That combination makes for a messy job. Plus, you can't get all of the gear lube out of the bottle, so you have to buy more than you need to complete the job. And engineering your own solution only results in disaster. Not anymore. Introducing the new Amsoil Easy Pack. Easily access hard to service differentials. Easily squeeze out all of the contents. And easily stay clean while you do it. No more leftover fluid or inconvenient rigid bottles. No more trouble reaching difficult fill holes. No more mess. Amsoil Severe Gear in the new Easy Pack. The solution to all your problems. Another first from Amsoil. For a stocking dealer nearest you, call toll free 877 761 8375 or visit 4seasonsynthetic.com. Hi, I'm Andy Austin with exciting news about a new division of Beach Ridge Motor Speedway designed to bring new people to weekly racing. Here's series founder Dan Wolf. Thanks, Andy. Our goal was to create cheap, easy to build race cars, bone stock production cars with a simple four point roll cage and proper safety equipment. We've named them the 21st Century Motor Street Devils. Our 2017 rule book and schedule are available at BeachRidge.com and at Street Devils Racing on Facebook. The future of auto racing has always been streetcar divisions because of the low cost. Some folks are building cars and sharing the driving duties. There's even an all-star car to allow celebrities to try out the Street Devil and a two-seat driver's ed car so you can take a few laps. Get information about our mentor program, low-cost safety equipment, roll cage kits, and videos on how to build one at Street Devils Racing on Facebook. So, form a team, build a car, and come join us this summer as we kick off the 21st Century Motors Street Devil Division at Beach Ridge Motor Speedway. 
looking for a great time, great people, and great food, then visit New England's number one biker destination, Bentley Saloon, owned by legendary super modified driver Bentley Warren. Bentley's is a biker bar that welcomes everyone. Staying in the area, Bentley's has their own full-service campground right on site. Tuesdays, Bentley's Cruise Night attracts car enthusiasts from all over New England. Located on Route 1 in Arundel, Bentley Saloon guarantees a great time. Check out the fun at BentleySaloon.com and see why Bentley says, who has more fun than us? Welcome to segment seven of Mainly Motorsports. I really appreciate you coming back around, you know, <laughs> vacated it, and I sit here all by myself, and I have to Aww. talk to people, and they get bored, <laughs> and listen to me, and they like to hear your side of the conversation. But no, it's fun, and it's always nice, and I appreciate everything you do, and like we talk about all the time, the social media side of things, I don't understand it, I don't know how to do it, and, and part of me doesn't even want to learn, you know, but you mm -hmm. do a great job with you know, putting it out there and letting people know what's going on without going crazy and being the Facebook Live person that's putting the whole race on and, you know, and so expecting people to watch on their phone. So we'll leave that argument for another day. But uh, the last race highlights I want to show you from Star Speedway, big deal, the Granite State Pro Stock Series, um, 100 lap, classic 100, Bob Weber Senior Memorial Night, and uh, uh, Nocella Paving sponsored it. We did the trophies and... Uh, just a, you know, it was a good battle up front, you know, real good battle up front, and uh, a lot of lead position swapping, a lot of, you know, a little over aggressiveness that, you know, took the top three cars and put them to the back. So, really a really a fun night and first time winner and uh, a kid, you know, a, a young man that the family and the dad have put so much into the sport. So it was pretty, you know, those are the times I like to stand in victory lane and just sit back and watch and the emotion of, you know, how happy everybody is and, you know. The comment that came from the father to me was, you know, because they've torn up some stuff this year. Doesn't matter what's happened up to this point. This is all worth every dime I've spent all year, you know, to see the jubilation and the happiness of the family. So uh, enjoy this. Congratulations. And, uh, you know, to all the winners and all the champions as we wrap up the 2018 race season and uh, enjoy these highlights from the Grand Estate Pro Stock Classic 100 from Star Speedway.